Hello ladies and gentlemen, The Cider Drinker here with yet another Orchard Box unboxing. Yep, yeah, it's that time of month again and well, let me just say I've got probably eight more ciders to show you guys that are going to be coming up in the future. I won't say in the near future because, well, I've just got so many ciders to review and try. And I try and do the ciders in box order, so you will eventually see these ones, but it probably won't be anytime soon. But, well, you never know, I might do like five in a week, which is unlikely, so don't expect that. I've already taken the liberty of opening up the box as usual. It's the um, same size box as always. Um, I know what your box said that they were going to um, start doing big bottles soon. Uh, well, at, at some point, hence why, you know, why they're doing like bigger, bo uh, bigger boxes. Um, they haven't done it just yet, but hopefully in a future box they will start putting, you know, uh, bigger things in. Anyway, oh, oh, okay, there's ten bottles in here, ha, ah. and there's a glass, okay, I wasn't expecting that, right, <laughs> wow, okay, nice, I've just got a free glass, wow, that's awesome. There we go, I've got a, a Himanshal Premium Indian Cider Glass. Oh, that is, that's so cool, wow, awesome. I, I wasn't expecting that at all, that's, that's kind of blown me away. Awesome. Well, I'm guessing that this is going to be in this, um, this month's box, but, well, we'll see. So cool, there we go, a free glass. And it's one that, uh, it's a shape that I've not had before, so I'm going to be featuring that in. Uh, future reviews. Anyway, first of all, let's uh, do the snacks because there's always uh, two snacks in here to see what I've got. Hello, hello. Wow. Oh, these look nice. New York Dilly Hot Toffee VIP Nuts. Caramelized jumbo peanuts with just a hint of hot chili. There you go. Wow, that's awesome. Chili honey peanuts. I've never seen these before. Obviously, uh, yeah, they must be, uh, must be American, mustn't they? Obviously, New York. Uh. But yeah, that looks awesome. And the other thing I've um, not seen as well must be um, American. Dark chocolate Americanos, perfect with coffee. Coffee beans in delicious dark chocolate. There we go. Wow. I love coffee beans and I love dark chocolate, so uh, this is going to go down an absolute treat. Ah, oh, awesome. Well, <laughs> this month's box has already um, started off well. And I've not even got to the ciders yet, and there's ten of them! So, well, let's see what's in this month's box, shall we? Let's go from left to right. Ah, I have seen... Nice. I, I've, se I've seen this, guys. Um, I think they're a very new cider company. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you their bottle first. It's Bumblebee Hard Cider. Um, and what they're doing is that... Um, they're, they're kind of... yeah. I think they're doing it to like promote like the preservation of like bees and everything because obviously without bees there wouldn't be us basically. The bees are keeping us alive because they're like pollinating the plants and everything. And uh, I think they're they're making this cider and they're uh, they're like helping to like preserve the bees in some way. I'll have to uh, do some research later on about it. But yeah, there you go, bumblebee hard cider. Awesome. That's a good start. Let's see what the next one is. I missed out on this last month because, uh, well, I didn't get last month's box. I was hoping it would be in this month's one, and it is. It's the third offering from the St. Paul's Cidery, and it's their Sacrifice. I love these guys' labels. They're just so awesome. So that's automatically going to go into my um, bottle collection. And it says, only 8%. Psh, what you laugh, you know, what you crying about, it's only 8%. Oh, awesome. And the good thing about these guys is they always put them in pint balls too, so you know you're getting the real deal. Nice. Right, two down, eight to go. What's the next one going to be? It is uh, a Somerset, uh, Som Somersetshire Cider Company, uh, Gandley and Naish. Gandley and Naish. I hope I've pronounced you, um, you right, guys. It's their uh, Dabonet single variety cider. There you go. Gan Gandley and Naish, Gandley and Naish. Gandley and Naish. Does it say on the back? Probably doesn't. Anyway, it's one of those two, I would imagine. So, yeah, nice. I like the look of that. 6%. Always a good thing. All right, 
I see this one's got a green top. Ah, oh, that's why! I've already done uh, two of their ciders, and now I'm doing their third one. Uh, their latest one, it's the Sholly Cider Company from, um, from South Africa, and it's their latest Granny Smith Cider. There we are. Lovely little uh, bottle design on those ones, but yeah, awesome. Great. I've wanted to try the uh, third one for a while, so it's always good to see that one in there. Right, what's this one going to be? Aha! It's another Turner's. I've just uh, I've just done a Turner's review. Um, I've just done their medium cider, and this time I'm going to have their pear cider. There we go. Or we'll call it their Perry because it's basically the same. So there we go. Five and a half percent. It's got a slight um, slight pinky hue to it, or maybe that's just the label because it is pink. Either way, I do like a good Perry, and Turner's are turning out to be a very well turning out to be a very good company, so there we go. Right, I'm gonna turn this box around because it is so, so big. Right, there we go. Okay, what's this next one gonna be? Oh wow, okay, I've never heard of these guys before. Uh, Vacary Farm, Vacary Farm, something like that. There we go. Uh, Vacary Farm Cider. I like uh, the kind of artistic label on that one. Nice. Uh, apparently it's made from Davide and Michelin. Apples. Nice. Traditional rack and cloth method for pressing the apples. That sounds really, really nice. Never heard of these guys before. Wow. Okay. Nice. So there we go. Vacary Cider. Or Vacary. I'm sure I'm just like butchering some of these guys' like pronunciations, but there we go. Right. This looks like a taller bottle. I'm assuming it's going to be him and Chal. And it is. There we go. So I've got the, uh, I've got the glass. And I've got the bottle. What was I saying? They were going to do um, bigger bottles in them. There we go. 650 mils, this one. And this comes all the way from India. That's awesome. I never even knew that um, India actually produced cider, but there you go. They do. Awesome. I, I, always, I always enjoy trying uh, ciders from, like, different countries. And, well, you can't get much further away than India unless you go to Australia. Anyway, three more to go. Two red tops and a black top. Let's do a red top first. It is. Aha! Now these guys always produce really good ciders. It's the Ross on White Cider Company. And uh, it's their Dry Still Cider. There we go. I've uh, done quite a few Ross on White Ciders uh, in my time and they've all been absolutely exceptional. So I'm sure this one is going to be good as well. Comes in at 7% so always good. There you go. Ross on White Dry Still Cider. Okay, let's do the black topped one next. Oh well there we go, it's another Turner's. Awesome! There we go, so uh, I've also got their sweet cider. There we go. So I've done their medium, I've got their dry in the fridge, and I've now got their 7% sweet cider. So I'm, I think that's pretty much all their range now that, I've, that I'm gonna be trying. I don't know, there might be more. But anyway, let's see what the final bottle is. It's another red top. Ah, okay, I've seen these guys. I've seen these guys on Twitter, and I was very uh, interested to try, try one of them out. It's Beard and Saber, and it's their Berry Master. There we go. I don't, I, I don't know. Just something about their uh, something about the label just caught my eye, and then it says join the craft cider revolution. That's cool. Um, yeah, medium still, four percent. Looks really, really cool. So there we go. Beard and Saber's Berry Master. Well, what can I say? What an awesome box. I think that's probably one of the best boxes yet. Um, some really awesome looking ciders in this one, and some great snacks, and a free glass! I mean, what more can you want? So, look out for those ciders in the future, because I will be doing them, but I have got quite a few to get through before then. So, with that said, I'll be back with another Cider Drinker Cider Review soon. Until then, take care guys, till next time.